Hey mates, so I am back again for another episode with the birds and the dogs. Um, Logo Life episode three. Um, and we're gonna be talking about all sorts of goodness today. Um, excuse the dog. Um, we're gonna be talking about basically how I get from the word mapping stage all the way through to the concept stage. Um, this is a particular part that you guys have been asking me a lot of questions about. How do I get from here to here? So today I'm gonna share all. It is gonna be mega. Righty, uh, so in this particular video, that was good, um, we're actually gonna be purely talking about the word mapping stage and the idea creation stage. Um, in my previous YouTube video, you can kind of see my whole entire process where I do go into the client discovery side of it. So if you wanna go check that out, do feel free to after this, because um, it will probably will help, um, you know, draw, what do you call it? Draw the dots, line the dots, put the dots together, Timmy, what is it? Join the dots. Join the dots. It's join the dots. That's what we're going to do. I'm sorry, I'm on the okay pressure. Um, so yeah, so I say this process is purely going to be how I bridge the gap between, you know, this word map and then these ideas. How does this bunch of wordage get come into these concepts? And that's it's this cool middle bit that I'm going to be explaining today. So I really hope you enjoy it. No pressure. No pressure. So, you guys know I've got an extreme passion for word mapping. Um, for me, it helps me create ideas, um, it helps me digest the information in the brief, and obviously seeing stuff written down, for me, helps me digest that information a bit better and start to think about how I can start to visualise stuff and all that kind of crazy cool stuff. What I've done here is I've word mapped out an existing project that I've already done as uh, for the kidney coach. You can go and check it out on my Instagram and all that jazz. But it's all about trying to help you understand why I've written these things down and how I write the other things that kind of come off of them. So, I always start in the top left hand corner with the company name. It's all about kidney health, sorting it out naturally, educating people to understand their body better and all this kind of stuff. So. Obviously, from the kidney coach, I've got the two owners, Duncan and Fiona. I've got Educate, Natural Health, and just natural and all that kind of stuff. So my brain's starting to tick here already. Um, I know it's an education platform. They want to help educate people to understand their body better. So when I, when I think educate, I think teaching, learning, knowledge, and all those other words. So you can start to see how this word association thing starts to happen. And, you know, a little tip, you know, if you're struggling, get yourself a, a little thesaurus um, or something like that, and you can start to, you know, puzzle words and associate words with other words. It's a great way of, um, you know, just starting to think of words that you probably would never use yourself. Um, so, yeah, and then obviously we know it's a, it's a company that's all about natural benefits. So from there, I know they use natural medicines, natural choices. So when I think of natural, I start to think of plants, the earth, and all these natural remedies and stuff. So you can start to see how all these... In fact, Timmy, just give, just give me a, a random word, totally random word. OK. Uh, com community. Community. So, right, community. Excuse if it's spelt wrong. So, what do I think of community? I tend to think of like more than one. So, I would probably go more than one. I would probably then go to something along the lines of, you know, connection. Uh, a community is together. So, 
So you can start to see just from one word how I can start to think about these particular ideas. So for example, I, within my logo, I can start to connect more than one thing. So that's a connection that shows the community coming together. Um, so just from that one simple word, you know, this could, I mean, this could be blooming any shape. Do you know what I mean? So, but from this one word, I've managed to go, right, more than one connection together, suddenly you're starting to visualise a concept. So I hope you can start to understand the power of this whole process. So for example, as we kind of go a little bit deeper into this word map, so I know that their brand voice they want to hit is, is something called the idealist. The idealist, um, and that itself is broken down into like four categories. So you've got champion, healer, teacher, and counselor. So I'm now thinking, you know, the number four. You know, I'm not thinking of how I can put those individual elements in. I'm thinking how I can encompass those um, individual elements into an idea. You know, they're wanting to be honest and authentic. You know, I start to write words like real, inspiring, transparent. So maybe, you know, maybe our idea can be see-through. You know, maybe that transparency of the actual logo or visual itself, concept, whatever you want to call it, can actually show their honest and authentic approach by being see-through. I mean, the, be the best thing for me about word mapping is the fact that it can be done absolutely anywhere. I mean, as long as you've got, you know, a pad, piece of paper, notebook, and a pen or a pencil, um, you can take yourself off to a quiet corner, you can do it on your couch, do it outside, you know, I think it's really important to allow yourself to do it wherever you want, you know, you've got to let your mind wander, you've got to let your mind be free and sometimes stepping out of the office, getting away from the computer is the best thing you can do for your creativity. Um, so whenever you're doing this, don't stress about where you have to do it, just go and do it somewhere. So, what do we do now? Uh, we've got all this information, we've got this wonderful word map, and you know, this is where all the fun stuff starts to happen. Uh, we need to kind of dilute and break down this information into something tangible that we can create our concepts with. So, with this particular project, um, I took out four things. So, the four things I took out were kidney coach, uh, the second one was natural because I know that they're all into their kind of um, natural remedies and natural company and all the rest of it. So that would be something that I really want to celebrate within the logo. Um, so that's the second thing. Um, they've got a, a cracking community on Facebook, I think over 20,000 people. So that was something I really wanted to celebrate within the visual as well. So obviously community goes down. Sorry about my spelling, but you all guys know I'm rubbish at spelling. And then I thought a really cool thing that I could try and get in there was the kind of idealist brand voice that we chatted about earlier. So that was something else I wanted to chuck in there. I dealist. So these are the four things that I want to celebrate. And now I start to think, how can I visually show these things? So. Right away, what I thought was, you know, this can be a KC monogram, kidney coach, works fine. Um, you know, so my brain's starting to tick here. So natural, you know, I think plants. I think leaves. So that was kind of where my brain was going here. And, you know, like with what we were talking about with Timmy, you know, community is more than one, you know. So, um, yeah, I'll just put more than one there. So, what I'm, as you can start to see, I'm starting to, I'm thinking automatically, I'm thinking something 
with a KC, something that's possibly got leaves in, something that has many elements coming together. You know, the beautiful thing about the idealist, like we chatted about earlier as well, you know, it has those four things, you know, champion, healer, teacher, counsellor. So this was where my brain went with this particular project. I know I want to create a KC monogram. Maybe I can do that out of leaves. Maybe I can show community by showing something connecting. Uh, you know, connecting is another good word. Um, but obviously then using the idealist, idealist brand voice, brand persona, I had four. So now I'm thinking four leaves to make a KC. I, hope, does, I don't know if that makes any sense, but that's exactly how my brain works. So what I can start to show you now is, you know, you can start to see how I've used these things to start to create my ideas. So I say, so all, before I've even started sketching at all, I know I'm probably gonna do something, you know, leafy, organic, uh, raw, because I wanna pr uh, promote that kind of natural voice. This is how my brain works. <laughs> So yes, I mean, basically, it's just all about trusting your gut. But, you know, sometimes your gut leads you down the wrong path, you know, we've all been there. So if that is the case, say if, I'm, if I've chosen those three or four things and when I go into my rapid prototyping stage, they're, they're just not, nothing cohesive happening. It's just not working. What I'll do is I'll head back to my word map, redigest it, take a look, look at some details. And what I'll do then is I'll pick maybe a couple of the same things but two different things and start to rapid prototype those and sometimes you've got to remember I mean this whole logo journey is a process you know there is no right way sometimes it goes super smooth sometimes it doesn't go super smooth but as long as you're kind of following all these process steps you're never gonna distract yourself too far away from the job in hand which is creating cool logos. <laughs> So there we go, my friends. Um, I really hope that's kind of helped you get into my brain a little bit. Um, yeah, so we've kind of gone from that word mapping stuff, all that information, created some clarity of where we go with the ideas, and then we've kind of created the ideas based on those thoughts. Yeah, so I find that whole process super useful. You know, it really helps to you know, give me direction. Um, I know it's all useful stuff because it's come from the brief. It's just about digesting it differently and turning words into visuals. Um, so if you ever need any help, um, there's all these places, you know, you know where to find me. You can find me on Instagram. You can hit me up in these comments. You can hit me up on the email. I'll leave my kind of team email in the little comments below. Um, but yeah, I'm just trying to give back as much free, valuable content as I possibly can for you to help you become better logo designers so um, with that being the case if you haven't signed up to my newsletter yet head to logoblackbook.com um, it's all free I've got free guides free guides on word mapping free guides on breaking down design briefs and I'll be constantly adding stuff and like, mock design briefs and all that stuff to help you become a better logo designer so that's it from me for today um, I'll be back very soon yeah, it's been a lot of fun. We're outside. It's nice and cool. Um, have a great day. <laughs> <laughs>